Hello and welcome to Active Ideas. This is the Salomon S Lab Pulsar 3 and today we're going to be testing out if these are the fastest mountain and trail shoes in 2024. The design for speed, the design for being lightweight and the design for performance. So really excited to try these on. They're boasting some big features. So we've got the Matrix upper coming back again which I've really enjoyed testing the Salomon Genesis. I found it to be very durable. I've already put like 600 miles into these Salomon Genesis and I have no durability concerns with the Genesis. Unbelievable shoe and value for money when you actually calculate how many miles you're getting out of these. So I'm super excited to try the Esla Pulsar 3s. Now why might these be considered the fastest shoe on the market? Well first of all let's talk about their weight. These are coming in at 205 grams so this is officially the lightest trail slash mountain shoe that I own. Just feeling it in my hand it feels like you're holding air. So really lightweight shoes which is really nice. I can't wait to go and hit the trails with these. It does seem that they've achieved that weight without sacrificing any features. You've still got fantastic grip on here and this sock-like upper. On the Salomon Marketing Debrief, they name drop names such as Courtney Dalwater, Remy and also Sophia, massive Salomon athletes. And they've said that Salomon athletes from the Golden Trail series specifically are the kind of athletes that have helped kind of design this shoe and improve this shoe. In terms of its evolution from the older pulses, what have you got here? Well, they've gone away with the kind of hard and soft ground pulses, you're just getting one shoe that can handle and rule them all. And absolutely dominate that race no matter if you're on hard pack trail, soft trail or wet slippery rocks, this has got you covered. Now what type of trails and mountain running are you going to be looking at for these shoes? Salomon are saying that this is kind of for a marathon distance, so you can probably get away with 50k's for this and anything less. For myself living in the UK, I can see this shoe being perfect for when I head out on these adventures in South Wales, North Wales. I'm going to Yorkshire next week to do the Yorkshire Free Peaks. And yeah, kind of like Ben Nevis and the Fort William area in Scotland. I can just see these shoes being perfect for that terrain because you've got that grip. I just want to quickly add as well that they've got the Salomon Quick Lace system. So these are really quick to put on and then you can tuck it away in the tongue and it's cushioned as well so you won't feel it. And another feature they're boasting as well is this precision footment placement. So the shape of the shoe is designed in this rocker form and it's going to promote kind of that four foot propulsion for when you're running uphill but also downhill as well um, as well as maintaining that precision when you're getting your foot placement right on that pretty gnarly and sketchy terrain. For you guys and girls who have used the old pulses you are going to love that they've completely redesigned and improved the outsole of the shoe so you're getting super sticky grip it's contra grip for all terrains and we're getting 4.5 millimeter lugs as well so it's going to be a good hybrid for shoe for not only when it's like dry but also when it can get a bit wet and a bit slippy and a bit muddy as well. To achieve its weight it's also coming with Salomon's lightest midsole and you can really feel how spongy this is so I am super excited. I've been holding off to not wear them yet because I've wanted to get some product shots before I get them super muddy out on the trails but really soft foam here and that matrix upper that I talked about with that really good durability it wraps around the shoe like a sock really tuning that fit in and helping with your stability when you are out on those trails. This super soft foam in the midsole is a dual density midsole, meaning that you're gonna get that really kind of responsive bounce for when you first hit the trails, but also they're gonna offer you that longevity if you are heading out on those longer runs, if you are going for marathon distance or maybe a 50K, still offer you that responsiveness and not compress too much over the course of time. And Salomon reckon that you can use these shoes. They've quoted four days a week, all shoes, no matter what their foam is made out of, is going to compress. But Salomon are very confident that these shoes are gonna at least last you for four days or more. So it's looking like you really are going to be able to pound out the miles in these without kind of jeopardizing that foam compression. I'll be testing that and reporting back. For any nerds out there like me who like the stats, you are in this shoe, in the Pulsar 3, going to get a six millimeter drop. That's offering you 24 millimeters of cushioning in the heel and then 
18 millimeters of cushioning in the toe box. And lastly, before I chuck these on my feet and head out onto the trails, how much do they cost? In the UK, that's around 190 pounds, and I'm sure in Europe, roughly about 190. In America, you're just touching over $200 price mark. So considering this is a performance shoe targeted at people really looking to smash it on the trails and perform at their best, I would say this is a reasonably priced performance shoe. And again, I'm gonna be putting these on my feet just now, heading out to the trails and report, does the performance live up to the hype? Okay, so welcome to the end of the video and this is my first impressions now. So first of all, the design, I mean, these shoes look so sexy. There's no denying it. When these come through in the post, I was so excited to test them out. They look really good. And when I put them on, what was also great is they felt really good too. So Salomon is saying that these are great for like four runs a week and for like marathon distance, you know, and they're 50K and less for muddy terrain, rocky terrain, soft trail, hard trail. I've tested a bit of that today, like on the hard roads of just asphalt and then coming down here on the trail as well with the months a bit softer and just yeah felt really supported and comfortable the whole way and what i really liked as well was the foot placement i felt like i could stick my feet in really high grass and i didn't know what was underneath it could have been a molehill or anything and just know that i wasn't going to twist my ankle or anything so i really enjoyed that the fit in both the forefoot which is kind of promoted in this shoe because of the shape is great and all the way through back to the heel is great good lockdown and i felt like the stability in the heel as well which is a bonus is really kind of locked and dialed in the contra grip as well it is rainy today so the mud is wet but not super slippery and stay tuned for like a full review when i can really test these out like i'm going to the mountains this weekend to really put these shoes in the environment they were designed for my only constructive criticism for this shoe is when you put the shoes on um because it's got that awesome sock like feature it can be a little bit hard to kind of get the socks in you've just got that loop at the front but you haven't got a loop on the heel which you know that could get caught on rocks and things so that's a design choice that salomon have made and there's nothing wrong with that and also when you you tuck away the laces it's a really narrow patch so there's not much space to put it in i think that if you're looking for this shoe for performance definitely go true to size the comfort is fantastic real dialed in i've tried out quite a lot of solomon shoes now the drx bliss for example i felt was quite tight around my foot where this just feels and that sock like texture of the upper fits like a glove it's really comfortable it's not too tight in the toe box as well you've got enough space for your toes to breathe when you're really going at those high intensities i don't think i want to get any blisters in these shoes for sure and i was just really surprised at that cheers guys for watching the video on the salomon s lab pulsar freeze if you like this video please like comment and subscribe and peace out so thanks for watching you know the drill like comment and subscribe if you can my slogan dreams are a step away and remember show compassion show esteem and have fun out there peace out